Hi everybody, well we're back out in the garden lab and uh, today's lesson is all about how to actually plot um, the different types of variable that you get. So you get variables that can be continuous, so they can take any numerical value, uh, things like height, weight, length, um, mass, all of those sorts of things. And if you remember the other type of variable is a discontinuous variable which falls into different categories. So those categories can be either color or texture, things like that, which you can't join up. They're either one thing or another. So we're gonna go and investigate how to plot two types of different graphs to show these two variables. Time to go inside. Discontinuous variation is when something can be described in a range of different categories and my Lego blocks are a classic example of discontinuous variation and I could discover numbers of blocks in each category. First thing I need is a table. Category is the color of brick and the variation I'm looking at is a number of different bricks. A graph, a bar graph, showing the number of Lego bricks of each colour and I'm going to need the number of bricks on my y-axis and the colour on the x-axis. So I've plotted my bar graph and you can see that there are very few clear bricks in my sample. There he is, oh that's the clear brick. And there are quite lots of uh, light grey, brown, red, blue bricks, There's 10 of each of those. Um, and we've got most blue bricks, 16 of those, not very many green. The important thing is because these, this is a discontinuous variable, we can't plot the bars joined together. Light grey is very different from dark grey, so there needs to be a gap between the bars. So make sure your bar graph for discontinuous variables always has a gap in between the bars. Back out in the garden lab and um, the wisteria is nearly finished flowering and I thought it would be a really good idea if we used the lengths of the flower spikes, the inflorescences, as an example of a continuous variable the uh, wisteria and as we move outwards you can see some of the flowers which are not very healthy anymore these are just about showing a bit of color just about on their way out and here you've got loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of flower stems which uh, are all of variable lengths these inflorescent lengths fantastic variable to measure as a continuous variable and we're going to take some measurements. Firstly we need to get a results table drawn up so here's my title continuous variable length of wisteria inflorescence I've got measurement number down here and the lengths I'm going to record here. What I'm doing, can you see what I'm doing? So if I just do this, are you starting? Yep. Doing that 43.5 So now I've got all my data, all I need to do is to make a tally chart of it. So first thing to do is to look at the range of values I've got from the minimum value, the smallest, which is down here at 22 centimeters. The biggest one is uh, in the 40s somewhere. I've got 44 there, 44.8. And uh, so the total range of values is within 20 to 45 centimeters. 
and uh, I think I'm going to use five centimeter intervals. Give me five groups, so 20 to 24.9, 25 to 29.9, 30 to 34.9, 35 to 39.9, 40 to 44.9. And then all I do is I look my, down my data. First one's 31.2. So I go along here, 31.2, and I put a tally in the first box. I go down the next one, 38.9, out of focus, 38.9. And I put a tally in there and I work through my data. And so my full data tally chart looks like this. Now what I've got to do is plot the graph. So I've set up a a graph with uh, the inflorescent length intervals along the x-axis 20 to 24.9 in the first interval going all the way up to 45 in the top 40 to 44.9 in the top interval class and we've got one two three four five intervals and I've got the number of inflorescences in each class going from one up to five on the y scale now I'm just going to plot the bars There you go. Just got to make sure that all the bars touch each other. It's a continuous variable and that's showing that most of the inflorescences fall into the length range of 30 to 34.9 centimetres.